Everton's takeover story has taken another twist. John Texter is engaged in open dialogue to become the new majority shareholder at Everton Football Club. Farad Mashiri has been trying to sell 94.1% of his uh, shares in Everton Football Club for quite some time now. He thought he had got there with 777. He then thought he got there with the freaking group. Neither of those things happened. And John Texter is now the latest uh, taxi off the rank. Um, apparently, Mashiri is a little bit uh, reticent to give full exclusivity at the moment until everything is in place. That's probably sensible if you're trying to call uh, other people into the fight. Um I wonder if this will give the freaking group th- food for thought that there is somebody else ready to move on the football club. A couple of issues with Texter. He is, of course, still got 45% of uh, shares in Crystal Palace, although apparently he has got buyers for those. Uh, he has been in dialogue with the Premier League about wanting to buy Everton, but still also having these shares. Um, and that is ongoing. They're, they're apparently close to a solution for that so I don't know how that's going to play out but I guess all of this is um, a case for Farad Mashiri of show me the money then if the money is there and John Texter can demonstrate that he's got the money to make this thing happen it'll happen I think for Everton or for Evertonian certainly we just want a resolution to something that's been going on for over 18 months now trying to get this football club sold and particularly for a year Definitely for a majority um, stake in the football club. We know prior to that, Farad Mashiri was looking for someone to come in and take a minority share in it. He's way past that now. And I think for Everton to embark on a new era, Everton need this uh, this ownership sorted out. Let's hope John Texter can get it over the line and start to uh, put things in place to take the football club forward. So we move out of this seeming state of limbo that we are in right now. Uh, on to Sean Dyche, he's given his first press conference of the season, his first pre-match press conference of the season for Everton's trip to uh, Everton Entertaining Brighton, I'll get there in a minute won't I? But first of all he was asked about the ownership uh, at Everton Football Club and whether it's impacting on him at the football club, this is what the manager had to say. No, I, I don't think. I think we've tried to see through all of that, you know, since I've been here. It's difficult at times, especially when I first got here, because it was a constant. Um, well, it has been a constant theme, more or less. And, you know, I think we've tried to stay focused on the real job from our point of view, which is to get the, the pitch right. You know, um, we can't do everything and we certainly can't affect the business model of the club in that respect of someone buying it. So we just have to wait and see. Have you been given any guidance as to how, when a resolution could be found? Nope. Just... Uh, Fingers crossed that it gets found. There you go, the manager dealing with it like he deals with a lot of stuff, really. Just, you know, trying to play with a straight bat, so to speak, and just dampen everything down. And it, listen, of course, it's affecting what he's trying to do, Everton. We're seeing right now in terms of bringing in uh, new recruits into the squad. There's not much money there. And, and if there was a bit more certainty, I think Everton would operate with a bit more certainty. But just right now, they're finding it difficult. So it's clearly impacting in Sean Dyche. And he hasn't, whether you like him, don't like him, whatever, um, he has had a tough time of it in terms of since he come in. Just with stability, the stability side of things at Everton Football Club. Hopefully, like we've just said in our opening story, it's drawn to a conclusion. He did. The manager did give us an injury update ahead of the game against Brighton. He confirmed that there'll be no Seamus Coleman. Uh, he is out for this one. No Jared Branthwaite. Uh, no James Garner. No Delhi. Uh, Nathan Patterson has joined in training again, but it, he won't be involved at the weekend. And Yusuf Chimiti is still a few weeks away following a minor foot uh, injury. So Everton do have some injury worries ahead of that game. Uh, the manager was also asked about Dominic Calvert-Lewin's situation at Everton. Obviously, the Everton centre-forward has got around 10 months left on his current deal. This is what Sean Dykes had to say about Dom. Um, Kev more so than me with their advisors often and, and agents. Um, and we still try and do that. So, you know, Dom's in the picture. He's worked, he's worked very hard in pre-season. Um, I think he's looked sharp in pre-season. So we just want him to take that onto the pitch. Just if a decent offer came in for him, though, obviously it makes business sense to, to let him no, go. But that, that would be, a contingency. Well, that, that would be the, the challenge for the club to decide what, what level any player 
not just Dom, you know, you saw with Amadou leaving us, you know, there was a level where they think, right, that's it, it's got to be done. Um, and that's the current situation at the club, so it's not just about the players mentioned, it's about any player. Does that mean, though, that you're confident that the group of players, the first team group that you have now, you will still have here at Christmas? No, not necessarily. It means that I'm confident that the, the club are going to do the best they can to make sure we're competitive, but equally, the club's got an outside picture, which is quite obvious, and that's not something that I can control. They, they, you know, they do need to balance the finances better. We've done a lot of work with that since I've been here, um, and Kev obviously included in that, on the playing side of things, to bring money in and, and lower the wage bill, and we've done a, a pretty fair job, I would say, of that. Um, but the bigger picture of the club is dependent on what money is needed at any given time. There you go. We'll see. Let's hope Dom opens up the season with a couple of goals and gets us off to a good start at Goodison. It is. I forgot to mention in the injury thing, the manager did say Michael Keane is fit, therefore in contention to start. I forgot that with the injury update. Uh, it is the last season at Goodison Park. It's the last time we'll ever kick this new season off at Goodison Park. We go in to our final season. It's going to be an emotional season, I guess, uh, certainly as we move towards the end of it. It will anyway. Um, Sean Dykes was asked about the fact that it is the last season at Goodison Park and does that bring an extra pressure? This is what the manager had to say over that question. Your pressure is constant here um, since I've been here. You know, it's just the way it is. So I think the it brings a... I think there'll be a, a good feeling about the place because, you know, I don't, I've, I've only been here sort of, what, 18, 19 months. You know, I don't know the depth of families who've had season tickets for years and years and years and you know the stories and you yourself I know you know if you bring me your kids and stuff like that and grandkids and all them kind of stories that are this history and they, they sort of build in this the feel of a football club so I'm too new to know about that but I've learned pretty quickly what it means to people but equally the demand for a new stadium and I think everyone appreciates that so yes the the uh, the old will will go and the new will come in but I think most people deep down, as much as they love Goodison, for all their memories, will say it's about time it's needed. So I think it's a, a step forward. There you go. And the final story is Everton are apparently trying to hijack Ipswich Town's bid for midfield player Jens Kajust, who plays for Napoli. Ipswich are trying to take him on a dry loan for the season. Uh, Kajust was in England because he thought he was moving to Brentford. That deal collapsed the other day. Ipswich are trying to get him there, but apparently Everton have now come in for Jens Kajust. This is according to reports coming out of Italy. Everton are trying to explore a deal. Now, this cannot be a loan because Everton already have Jesper Lindstrom from Napoli. Therefore, we wouldn't be able to take another player from Napoli on loan. But the report says Everton are exploring a permanent deal for the central midfield player. Uh, he's a good player. He'd be a good addition to Sean Dyche's squad if they could get him. To me, the only way this sort of works is if Napoli do kind of what um, Udinese did last season with Everton and Beto, which is take next to nothing as a down payment this summer with obviously the payments beginning next summer. Otherwise, it doesn't work, does it? Everton clearly at this moment in time don't have funds unless someone was going out the door. Uh, and that and the loan thing is out the door as well. So the only way that this could be, you know, could happen is by creating a deal that says we pay you next year. We'll have to wait and see if there's anything in that one at all. But he would be a good addition for Sean Dice. You did admit today in the press conference that we are a little bit light. He said uh, it was asked about the fact that I, Amadou Onana and Andre Gomez have gone out this summer, and we've only brought Tim Irabunum on into the club, you know, into the club in that area. Does that mean Everton are a little bit short? And he said we were short last season, even with the two we had. So yes, we are stretched in there. So therefore, you know, it would make sense if Everton did bring another centre midfield player in. Had been linked heavily with Calvin Phillips. Everton had explored the deal for Calvin Phillips, but the numbers coming out today that say Ipswich have paid £13 million to take him for the season means Everton are getting nowhere near that. So maybe, maybe they can do a deal with Napoli. Otherwise, that boy will go off to Ipswich as well. There you go. That is it for the news daily. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't. Check out the Everton Brighton match preview and also check out tomorrow the season preview, which will be out. Thanks for watching. See you later.